My name is uh, Baba Sako, originally from Senegal, but I mostly grew up in Europe, in the UK and in France. So I usually come here for vacation. When I travel, I like to train at the same time in the, in the country where I go. So uh, I was looking if there were like any uh, Muay Thai club here in Dakar, and then I think I googled or something like this, and I fell on, uh, on the Lionheart. So I sent a message to uh, AK, and he answered me, then I said, yeah. I'm very interested in uh, what you're doing, and uh, I'm often coming to Senegal, so I would like to train. The, he said, yeah, and th then he started to explain me the, the initiative, exactly. And then we started talking, talking, and I gave him my, 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 uh, my background in uh, Muay Thai. And then he, uh, he just suggested me to do like a, a seminar. I have like uh, 12 fights in total, but I haven't competed professionally, but I was very like uh, rigorous in my training and then I started to train in uh, the kids and the competitors also so I was more focused on the on the training on the sharing uh, knowledge uh, last year I came with Danny who's Danny was a world champion and a uh, France champion who was supposed to come also this year but he's preparing the European championship but I still came with two new people Cyril and Nawel who are also uh, France champion and European champion you are no the capacity of uh, Senegalese people, you know, we are like really athletic when we put in the work. And when it comes to like wrestling and everything, we are like 100% on it. But I was just like a little bit disappointed because there was no like structure here to like help people to grow into sport. And that's very sad. We need like more structure, like organization, uh, when it comes to wrestling, when it comes to MMA, boxing or even karate, judo, stuff like this, but stuff like more organized, you know, uh, like more clubs and people putting in the work, seriously, you know, uh, sharing also. It's not about being selfish, you know, we're all here in the same country, all the same. If you go to other country, people help each other. Like Muay Thai, yeah, okay, I have a coach, I'm going to send you a coach there, you're going to help this one. Uh, this coach is good with the clinch. Okay, can you have my competitor here? He's gonna, he's, he's lacking technique and clinch. I can take this coach stuff like this. It's not a competition. It's just like we need to gather and sit and structure everything. This is what we what what, what we uh, what we miss. Otherwise, people here want to train. People want to train, but they don't know how to train, where to train. The first time when I came, uh, we did the seminar with uh, Danny. We were maybe like 20 people. I came back this year with two other people, and like it was doubled. You know, we like almost 60 people, 50, 60 people. So it's good. We have everything here to like to build like real champions. You know, we have deep knowledge to share with people. One week is not enough. So that's why we're gonna keep doing it more often. So next year we'll be more than that, and we keep growing. And we try to do it more often, maybe two times a year if possible, but more often to show the, to people that we care about them, that we want to share, and that we want them to grow. If we keep, keep up on the same path, uh, we can most definitely uh, make some noise, you know, elevate the athletes we have here to fight abroad and like to share, to like to take the luggage they have here and to share. Like I said, we, we, we done taking people uh, technique from the US, Europe. So it's our turn here with all the technical luggage we have to share with people. So I think if we keep, being, keep doing what we do, people, people will like open their eyes and hear about us. And then we, you know, we just did this little sparkle to like, to like burn everything. And I believe in it. We just need to be more patient and keep doing what we're doing.